found it. Chinese box turtle. As a pro bike rider, action sports announcer, and off-road adventurer, I'm always on the go. But for my true passion as a reptile breeder, I created my own sanctuary in South Florida. This is Camp Kenneth. All right, guys, here's the real adventure, okay? We're gonna get some worms to feed the Chinese box turtles while I show you them. Just watch your heads when you come in here, okay? Uh, and, and watch your step also. We got some pink belly side necks. Like I said, the real adventure is getting through here. Say hello to the rhinos. Come on, this way. Don't get, <laughs> no, this is not your food. Look, they think it's the, uh, they think it's their food bucket, but it's not, come on in. I wanna show you my little impromptu worm farm. It's the most bizarre thing. It's a happy, a happy accident that occurred because I, I set up the lizards up on top of here. We got a green iguana and the Lewis eye iguana babies. But because I put potting soil up here, I started an impromptu worm farm. So we gotta be careful not to scare the little guys. But what I do is I just get dirty, man. I just dig this up, right? Take my hands. Flip it over and look what we get, guys. Oh man, if you're a reptile lover, you know earthworms are a great nutritious source of food for box turtles. You gotta like to get dirty. I'm a 40 year old child. And look at this, look at how great this is. Look, is that awesome? And these are very lively, nutritious. You can start this too. All you guys gotta do is get some potting soil, some mulch, throw a few worms in there. And the next thing you know, they're gonna breed I mean, this is some good dirt, folks. Let me tell you, I'm gonna scoop this up and turn it into the fertilizer for one of my gardens. And almost every time I break open some of this earth here, I get worms. Look at this. And these are lively worms down here in Florida. So we're gonna get a few of them because I really wanna show you how exciting the Chinese box turtles are when they eat. They're very personable. They, they are an omnivore. They're gonna eat worms, fruits, uh, different invertebrates, and a true omnivore of the turtle world. So I like to smooth things back out. I've harvested what I need. Get it dressed back up for the Lewis iguanas, and now let's get to some baby Chinese box turtles that I hatched out first time. Watch your step there. But I went ahead and I was lucky enough to get some of these enclosures from Bush Wildlife. Take it easy, Lola. And this is kind of like a little bit of a uh, nursery for me, for my baby Asian species. So I just prop this up here. Come on over here, look at this. So here are the babies. Look at these three are gorgeous little babies. Baby Chinese box turtles, they hatched out in May. And they are such alert and active hatchlings. Fantastic, so watch this. You know, you get a little piece of earthworm. And let's, I mean, look at this, look at this, guys. Look at this, does not care. They just go for it, man. These guys are just little mental cases. Now he's gonna run away and try and find someplace nice to hide and hope nobody else jumps in on that earthworm that he's got. But what they don't know is I've got plenty of earthworms for these little guys. Um, it is, you know, I don't know if, you know, if you guys get sensitive, but I do break the earthworms. These guys are getting fed. So it's not just cruelness for no reason. Um, oh, we gotta, might as well feed a little grandis. That's a giant Asian pond turtle baby there. But watch this, I don't know if you can catch me. I'm gonna fling it back here and watch what these guys do. They just get so excited for worms. He's going for it. Very alert little turtles. And they do so well in captivity. Now these guys are completely endangered in their native habitat full on. In fact, we don't import these animals into the United States anymore. It's been shut down. So any Chinese box turtles you get are going to be captive raised babies, which means the price is going to be a little bit more expensive than you might be thinking for a baby semi-aquatic turtle. You're looking at about $200 for a baby and somewhere around five to $600 for adults. Uh, but they are fantastic. They hibernate. They are omnivores. Let's Let's see, here we go, we got a piece in here. Let's go ahead and feed this one. It kind of came over, it'll eat right out of my hand. Come on, don't be shy. So as I said, they're omnivores. 
They do very well in captivity. They reproduce readily here. They will hibernate. Uh, here in Florida, they are active all year long, except for the very coldest nights. They'll burrow down, but I don't worry about giving them any heat because they're very hardy and cold tolerant species. Um, I love them. They're very attractive. Get that yellow head. And uh, let's go see the adults right now so you can get an idea of how big they get if you guys, in fact, want to work with the Chinese box turtle. So now it's time to go to see the adults. And the adults are just a few steps over here. This pen, actually, this enclosure was one of the first structures that was here at Camp Kennan. It was a dog kennel and it was made by the previous owners. And I went ahead and turned it into my iguana habitat for two old friends of mine. You got Venus and Tiger right there. They share because they have the same habitat. But if you look right now, we got a nice pond, okay? Because the adults and babies love to soak. But these are not totally aquatic turtles. They're more like our North American box turtles. Uh, these guys will swim, but they spend most of their time in moist, uh, on moist land. Now there's the male way over there. We got to try and get his attention. Uh, I also have two females. One's an immature female and one is an adult. So I'm going to chuck this and see if we can get his attention. And we have, look at this. That's a male Cora Flava Marginata. You can also call it Sister Clemmie's Flava Marginata. And there he has eating some worm. Very happy little booger there. Um, these guys are from mainland China. You can also find them in Taiwan. And of course, as with all turtle and tortoise species in Asia, those animals have been used and exploited for their meat and for traditional medicines. So they are an endangered animal in their native habitat. And I would guess there are probably more here in the United States in captivity than you can find in the wild in Asia, which is very sad. But I always say alive in captivity is better than extinct. They're funny little guys. So let's see if we can pull the rest of them out. Oh, here we got one right here. Now this is a little gal. Let's see if she sees the wiggle, gets excited. Of course she does. They are not shy. Uh, they did produce this year for me. I'm very excited about that. I was happy because I found the babies we just saw wandering around this little enclosure. And the thing you got to be careful of with this species is the males and sometimes even the females will eat the eggs as soon as they're laid. And then just to see babies is amazing because usually they'll eat the babies too. So you really got to pay attention. I mean, I got lucky. All three eggs hatched and I got all three babies. So pretty lucky about that. I'm going to stick my hand under here and wake up the gal and see if she'll come on out to visit with us. Oh, here she is. Let's see. Maybe I can put her right up here. Get her excited about some food. Come here, sweetheart. Look at what we got for you. They'll eat a variety of different things. They'll eat the earthworms. They'll eat a lot of the pellets, freshwater turtle diet. They'll eat the crocodilian diet from Missouri, which is what I feed a lot of my freshwater species. And they also eat the tortoise diet. Um, in addition to that, cantaloupe, melons, apple, pear, basically every, everything. <laughs> you know, different greens, different fruits, a true omnivore. You really can't go wrong unless you start to feed them one thing. Again, variety is so important. People forget that, but they're just a really beautiful species. See, I like to tickle their rear ends and then it wakes them up and it gets them out. So you can see that just incredible, beautiful yellow head. And then that really nice yellow right behind the eye. Just a very attractive animal. They also have this very subtle yellow marking. Some of them actually have a little bit brighter yellow, but these are getting older. And then look at that plastron. Just an amazing uh, species of turtle. And again, endangered in their home range. And I've got the male right between here, caught red-handed or red-beaked rather. Um, we'll put him down so he can finish. And let's see if we can get her to eat. And uh, we'll give you some shots of these guys just enjoying some earthworms because I'm gonna go wash my hands, get ready for the afternoon lunch. My lunch, that is. I don't like worms, although I've never tried them.